Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Aztec Network, otherwise known as ZK.Money, which is encrypted Ethereum. It's a layer two network that is essentially a private version of Ethereum and they are potentially having an airdrop later on down the road. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to interact with the protocol and get your wallet set up for the potential airdrop. Nothing is confirmed yet, but they raised $100 million from venture capitalists. So there's a pretty good chance there's gonna be an airdrop. Anyways, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. So here we are at Aztec Network. As we can see here, this is Ethereum encrypted. This is very similar to Tornado Cash, but it's an actual layer two network using zero knowledge rollups built on top of Ethereum. So this is very next level. It is actually endorsed by Vitalik Beater and himself. And we can take a look here at their Twitter account. As we see, they have 85,000 followers and they are hyped because they announced a 100 million Series B funding round. They raised $100 million by VCs. And this is only set to get bigger as privacy becomes more and more of a narrative. So there's a pretty decent chance that down the line there will be a token. As we can see here, this tweet, $100 million raised. And the total value locked inside of the network does continue to grow as time goes on because more and more people are interacting with the network. We can see from their tweet as well here. This is just a basic overview. I'll be showing you how to use the protocol in just a second, but I just want to make sure you're aware of what it is first. We can see the monthly active users is above 40,000, approaching 50,000 right now. So it's growing, 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 growing. Now we're going to be using Olympio Crypto's airdrop strategy guide. Big shout out to Olympio Crypto for putting this guide together. And let's get right into it. So he goes over what ZK Money is. That's Aztec Network. So it's built by the Aztec team. It enables anonymous money transfers similar to what Tornado Cash aims to accomplish. And it also allows private DeFi investments. It is essentially like using a VPN. Nobody can see where you're coming from. You are coming from an encrypted signal. You're anonymous on the blockchain. It's very, very good. And this is why I'm making the video. You should know how to use this stuff in the future if you want to stay anonymous. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. What's the current stage of the project? They're in version two. They deployed on mainnet six months ago. It's fully functioning. What about a token? No official announcements, all right? So I don't want any comments saying they never made an announcement. I get a comment like that every single airdrop video and I always say it's not confirmed. So do your own research and you can go whine in the comments all you want. I don't really care. Anyway, let's continue on. So airdrop, nothing was announced, all right? So this is pure speculation. Strategy, let's go ahead and use the protocol's features. What you're gonna need for this is 0.1 Ethereum and a MetaMask wallet. As you can see here, I do have 0.1 Ethereum loaded up, ready to go. I also recommend to have $100 in DAI as well, or 100 DAI, because it'll count as another transaction on the network, which could potentially increase your airdrop amount. That's my own speculation. Anyway, let's get into this tutorial. So first step, go to zk.money, and that's going to bring you here. Now, if this is your first time, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna make a new account. We'll go ahead and call this wallet top C, C for Connor, create that one. And so this is what it's gonna look like if this is your first time doing this. I've already done this with my other wallet, but we're gonna to wanna to retrieve our Aztec address and then we'll go ahead and sign a transaction here all right and we will go ahead and sign this message and okay so it brought me to my my already existing wallet address so what we want to do is connect the new wallet to this and we can log out and we can retrieve and sign and sign again so your first time this is what it's going to do you're going to want to sign twice so sign it again, perfect. Now you wanna retrieve your spending key. Let's go ahead and retrieve it. So click on it, you're gonna to have to sign another transaction. All right, cool, so we got our spending key. Now we wanna copy it to our clipboard. It says your account information has been copied to the clipboard. This data is not privacy revealing, but please store it somewhere safe but accessible. This is not a seed phrase. It's okay if somebody else sees this, but like it said, store it somewhere safe and accessible. So most likely somewhere on your computer that you can easily retrieve it just by copying and pasting it. So go ahead and do that, put it in a document, whatever works for you where you can save it, go do that right now. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move on. So we'll hit next step. So now this is where you're going to want to pick your name for the network. 
I'm not going to go through with this. I've already made my account and this wallet has zero Ethereum in it, but you're going to have to do this. So pick a name. I'm going to go ahead and keep the same name as my wallet. So we'll call it top C. So you can choose a speed. You can pay a dollar or you can pay $26 to have it right away or you can wait an hour. So most people are going to pick wait an hour. If you don't mind paying the gas fee of $26, $27, do it fast. You can get it taken care of right away. And then you're going to want to enter your first deposit amount. And remember here, we're going to go ahead and deposit 0.1 Ethereum. All right. So as we can see, deposit 0.1. So put in 0 0.1. All right. And after you put in 0 0.1, you hit register and then you wait an hour or you wait seven minutes, whatever registration speed you picked, wait for it to arrive in your wallet. And then you'll be ready to move on to part two, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. Okay, here we are on my main account that I've already done this with, but I'm gonna be showing you what to do with this account. So once your Ethereum arrives, it's gonna show right here in your tokens. All right, it's gonna show ZK ETH and the amount you have available. All right, you should have 0.1 Ethereum available. And you have the other option, as you can see, if I hit shield more, you can also shield DAI. All right, so I went ahead and I shielded both Ethereum and DAI. 0.1 ETH, 100 DAI, I did both. I don't know if that's gonna increase my airdrop amount or what, that's my own speculation, but it's there. You might as well use the network as much as possible because all these airdrops are basically the same. They just reward early users of the network. So use the network, don't be lazy, use all the features. It's very simple. All right, let's go back to our guide here. So step number two, use D5 features. So we wanna to go to zk.money earn tab and use some of the features here. So we'll hit earn here on the top. And now we are going to go ahead over here and we'll use Aave, put in some Ethereum. I'll put in 0 0.1 here. All right, so it's saying that this transaction requires 0 0.11 ZK ETH. And we just bridged over 0 0.1 only. When I did this the other day, as we can see here with my Aave position, I only had to put in 0 0.02. It wasn't giving me all these high requirements. So this is probably new, but it looks like you guys are gonna have to bridge over some more Ethereum is all it's telling me right now. So we can try this one. Let's see if it's any different. Okay, so this is for DAI, right? I'm just gonna show you how to do this. We'll put in five DAI here. That's fine, we'll hit next. And as you can see with my transactions speed, I hit a day and that costs $1.70, so that's no problem. Again, I'm just showing you this, how to do everything. I already did everything on this wallet, so my amount might be different from yours, but you're going to want to use as much funds as you have available to interact with the network. All right, so you confirm the transaction. We'll wait for this to go ahead and send the proof. Perfect, the transaction is confirmed. This is how you interact with the DeFi here on ZK.Money. We can also use something like Lido. And if we use Lido, let's see if it works for Lido. So you can put in 0 0.1 ETH on, on Lido here. And hit I understand the risks and you'll confirm the transaction. So just do this around three times for three different DeFi options. If you want to do it more, maybe you'll get more tokens in an airdrop. Who knows? But either way, just do this a few times. Again, all we're doing is interacting with the features on the network. It's very simple. Perfect, the transaction is confirmed. That took a few seconds. And that's all. That's all we really have to do for step number two over here. All right, so Ave, Lido, Element, Finance. Do up to three. The more the merrier, you'll be better off if you do more. So let's move on to step number three. Shield more Ethereum. So same thing that we did initially. We're gonna do it again. So we'll head back to the wallet option and we hit shield more. And I can put in 0 0.1, right? I'll put in 0 0.1 here and I'll hit an hour because I don't mind paying a dollar and waiting an hour. And we're just gonna shield some more ETH over here. Just doing another transaction on the network. So this is step number three. We'll wait for this to go ahead and go through and we will confirm this transaction. So we're gonna to have to go ahead and sign another message. We'll hit sign here and the transaction is confirmed. All right, so all we did there was hit shield more and we put some more Ethereum over to ZK.money, very simple. We'll go ahead and move on to step number four, send money between two wallets. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to go to our balance section, click send to layer two and add the recipient, then confirm the transaction. These funds are sent privately instead of the ASDEC layer two like doing a transaction in ZK Sync. 
it's not happening on the Ethereum mainnet. All right, so for this, I went ahead and I made another wallet and I made another Aztec ZK Money account so that I can send it to myself. I assume you're gonna go ahead and do the same. So that's why I showed you how to create a new wallet on your MetaMask, right? And go ahead and do that. Create a new account, create a new name, bridge over some Ethereum so that you can send it to yourself. If you have a friend you wanna do this with, you can send it to your friend. All right, but we'll go ahead and do this now. So we're gonna go right here and hit send. And we wanna enter an alias or an Aztec address. Let's see if my other alias works. Yep, it works. Beast mode is my other address. We're gonna send in 0 0.01, saying failed to contact rollup provider. We'll refresh the page. So again, we'll hit send, send to layer two on top, and we'll put in our other name, like so, cool. Uh, we'll, we'll do it, okay, it works now, that's cool. And we'll hit next, understand the risks, and confirm the transaction. So all we're doing is sending money to another Aztec account. I'm using my own, you can use a friend, just send it to another account. We're just following instructions here, people, very simple. All right, transaction confirmed, took a few seconds. That's another one done. And we will go ahead and see what step number five is. Step number five, withdraw to Ethereum layer one. So we wanna to go to same place we were, add the recipient, so it's saying withdraw to a different wallet than the one used to deposit. Do not deposit slash withdraw exact amounts. So use round numbers. All right, so that is again why you want to create multiple MetaMask addresses. So I can go grab my other address here and I'm actually gonna, might as well grab this one, send it to a fresh one. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So we grab that address and we come back here and hit send withdraw to layer one, enter that Ethereum address by pasting it. Again, that's my own. I'm gonna withdraw the maximum amount that I can, and I will hit next. I will say I understand the risks, and I will say I understand the transaction. I assume the more money that you withdraw or send, the better off it's gonna be. So don't be cheap, right? Don't use like a dollar or like 50 cents. You need at least 0 0.1 ETH to even do this, so just don't be cheap. Transaction confirmed, very good. And I believe that's all. Yeah, that's all. All right, so again, I also shielded DAI. I did $100 in DAI, not sure if that makes a difference. But that's essentially all of the features that we can do here. If you want to get out of the DeFi earned positions, you just hit claim and exit, and you just get your money back. It takes five hours, but you get it back in your wallet. Then you can withdraw it back to your Ethereum layer one wallet. It's very simple. And I also recommend to keep on using this layer two network in ZK.money. Don't just watch this video, do the steps and forget about it forever because with all airdrops, the more you use the network, the more they reward you. So just be active is all I'm trying to say. But I hope this video helped you out. I hope it makes sense. Go ahead and follow these steps. Again, they got $100 million by VCs. VCs are in this business to make money. So there's a pretty good chance that they release an airdrop down the line. This is how you prepare your wallet address to receive it. Hope you enjoyed the video. So in this video, I showed you how to get the Aztec Finance, otherwise known as ZK.Money airdrop by just interacting with this privacy layer two network. This is a great thing. It's basically replacing Tornado Cash and your address can't get censored. So it's, it's beautiful. Privacy for the win. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. If you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.